will change the Earth forever! My liege, all you Scorpius Force generals are assembled in the meeting room, waiting to hear your strategy. They'll be surprised, perhaps even shocked by what you have to say to them. This is the time we must take bold measures. Yes, but have you consulted Cybercon about what you're going to say? What Cybercon has to say is between myself and him. With our recent losses, he's become impatient with our results, understand? I was asking merely to cover our bases, Sire. I'm sure that you know what you're doing. This isn't a casual whim. Our victory depends on this. Right. With our location known, it's just a matter of time before the Eagle Riders fly in here and blow our entire headquarters sky high. Yes, you're right about that. For us, there's no other alternative but to move our headquarters completely. It's either that or eliminate them. It's my great honor to give you a leader that needs no introduction. Wherever evil exists, you will find him. I give you a true tyrant who will lead us in forcing Earth to obey the will of the Scorpius Force. Gentlemen, I must be frank with you. We have suffered devastating troop losses at the hands of the Eagle Riders and their Earth allies. Our situation is desperate. And desperate times call for desperate measures. We must crush Earth's resistance. My plan is very simple. I'll explain. We must temporarily withdraw. Listen, we need time, so you must create a diversion. With the Eagle Riders occupied, we can move our headquarters with no interference, plan their demise, and continue our quest. Are we agreed? I knew I could count on your support. Together, we won't just bend them to our will, we will break them. This I... That's the last of Happy Boy. Hopefully. So they really think I've been defeated. <laughs> you think they'd remember? I'm full of surprises. Let's go. You and me. Mano y mano. Good. A sportsman. On guard. <laughs> was a good day. And the final hand hasn't been dealt yet! Sire, Cybercon sends his regards. Who are you? Justin Powers, youngest captain of the Scorpius Force, sir. Cybercon indoctrinated me into your way of thinking, and he sent me to do a checkup. If Cybercon really wants to know what's going on, why doesn't he just do a checkup himself? Good question. 
He's had his eye on your situation and now believes it's time to bring in some new blood to support our objective. And Cybercon assigned me the mission of making sure the Eagle Riders are taken out of action by our new robot right now. Wait! Where are you going? I have to make sure the robot is completely prepared to do battle. Justin! Stop! <sighs> so Cybercon thinks I need this pint-sized punk to succeed! Hello, huh? unhappy boy. Have you missed me as you squashed away your opportunities? Well, uh, Cybercon, I, I, I wasn't expecting... I think you had better join me, happy boy, so we can have a serious, in-depth discussion. The Earth forces have eroded our troop numbers and our morale. Now, Cybercon, you know that I would never ever... Let us review some of your past non-successes. You're bringing up ancient history. Watch. <laughs> Justin to command my newest robot. True, I have tasted failure, but who has done better, sire? Do you remember Liu Kang? Who? Well, my boy, before Malinox, there was Liu Kang. I programmed Liu Kang with an animal fierceness. I thought it would spell the end of the Eagle Riders. Now what? Before I eliminate all of you, let me show you the zenith of Borak technology. What was that? You say you are going to eliminate them? But you promised me if I lured them here that I could be the one. You have done well, but this is my decision. It's unfair! This is the moment I have long waited for! Enough! I will handle their destruction, and we will rule Earth together! Quietly! After all, I've been through now! Don't be petulant with me, who can. I created you, and I can destroy you as well! Uh, I'll show you! <laughs> I'll destroy you all! What? Cybercon! You can't be serious! Take your faithful warrior with you! What have I done to displease you? This isn't fair! Please, come back! Goodbye, Lucan! We will meet again! <laughs> Lucan, I think you better come with us now. Hunter, this thing has been ready to explode any minute! No! Then we've all got to get out of here right away! And when we had a disagreement, he deserted me! It's wrong! I've been shamed and dishonored! Leave me, Eagle Riders! I'll not have the pity of my enemies! That wasn't the only time my orders were ignored, was it? Let remain calm. Don't move a muscle! The Borak have taken command of this building! <laughs> Greetings, viewers. I'm broadcasting from the ISO building. Let me introduce myself. I'm Malinox, ruler of the world. I just wanted to let all you people of Earth know that everything is fine and under my control. <laughs> Give up. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> if you think you've captured this building, you're only fooling yourself. There's a big tidal wave coming, Malinox. Nice, but I don't buy that for a second, Dr. Keen. Now stop stalling around and get me that thermal beam radar before I level this entire building myself. Dr. Keen, you mustn't give him the location of the radar. It's our only hope against the Borax. Let them go and keep me. You are in no position to bother with me, Doctor. Now you must admit, nothing is sweeter than victory. <laughs> What's happening? What's all that rumbling? There's a tidal wave headed right for us. We better get out of here. Quick, get into the mowing machine right away, man. Yes, sir. It's the radar. <laughs> I knew you'd find it. There it is. The radar has been loaded, sir. Excellent. Head back. <laughs> Wait till Cybercon hears that I took the radar and left all the Earthlings defenseless. <laughs> uh -huh. You've got our radar and we want it back. 
It's been fun, but I gotta run. Uh-oh. Going somewhere, Malinox? <gasps> now, now, let's not do anything hasty. Don't do something you regret. The time has come to see who's behind that mask. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Our tidal wave has made a shambles of the ISO building. All in all, it's been a very good day. So I guess I'll have to get the radar machine next time. Hey, hey Helena, come on. back! Come on, sucker! Thankfully, your abilities have improved as time has passed. Now let us examine your latest endeavors. The relocation of our forces to our new base is nearly finished. I trust you've kept your new headquarters location more of a secret than you did our solar shifter bases. Of course. The Eagle Riders believe that my forces were wiped out with me when my old headquarters blew up. Uh, How long will it be before we go back into battle? The sooner we dominate us, the better. Let's get these three moving! It appears you have things well organized. For once. I thought everything out this time. And to help, young Justin, armed with my newest robot, will keep the Eagle Riders occupied while you move everyone to your new base. So that's it. He wants me to play the patsy shuttling Vorak while his new protege, Justin, takes on the Eagle Riders and steals all the glory. Not while I'm here. Well, you must be in a hurry to get those troops loaded up and on their way. There's a more important matter that needs my attention. What on earth do you mean, happy boy? I must help Justin. Well, if you really feel you must, I suppose the Vorak can take care of themselves. Just remember, Justin is to be in command. He's been programmed for success. Take a seat. How dare you talk to me like that? I won't have you endangering this mission's complete success. I wouldn't think of it. Any insubordination and you won't be on board for long, get me? I will obey your every command, Justin. The only thing I care about is seeing to it that we crush the Eagle Riders. We have the same mindset. Now that that's squared away, take your seat and this robot will start to rumble. He has no idea what I'm capable of. All right, team, there's a giant robot tearing up Jet City. Our job is to stop it. Let's do it! Hey, are you okay? 
Don't any of you move. Well. Hey, don't go pointing that laser pistol at us. Somebody could get really hurt. That's exactly what's going to happen now, because you meddlers are going to pay dearly for wrecking Cybercon's robot and for hurting the commander. You need to think about this. Are you absolutely sure you want to be on the side of evil? Happy Boy must have figured out some way to brainwash this wild kid. Shut your mouth right now! Take it easy. Besides, why else would anyone turn against all humans? <gasps> You have to know Cybercon's goal is to capture all human beings and destroy our planet, which would make all of us homeless slaves of the Borax. Do you really hate humanity so much that you want that to happen? Uh, they really don't care about what happens here. They're using you to promote their agenda, and they'll discard you like a pawn when their purpose has been served. <sighs> I don't believe you. <laughs> so long! <laughs> Stop him, guys! We needed to stop him. I should have kept a closer eye on him. This can't be true. He promised to take me along with him when we had to escape. My liege, we're glad you could join us on time. It's good we had this rescue pre-planned, but I thought you would be bringing Justin with you. Why should he? Human beings are absolutely worthless to us. I know Cybercon will be disappointed, but poor Justin and I had a little falling out when I left him holding the proverbial bag. <laughs> Happy Boy couldn't have escaped that. I put all my faith in them, and when things got really tough, they just deserted me. You just didn't belong. You really belong here with other humans, trying to make our planet a place of peace and understanding. Oh, I do belong here. headquarters i felt triumphant i had dumped cybercon's golden boy placing myself as his champion again and the eagle riders thought i was gone the future looked bright we have finally arrived gentlemen look this is our new stronghold now begins a great period for the borak we will be victorious Created. Perfect. It's time to address my faithful force. <clears throat> we will now conquer Earth. Are you ready? 